Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. I am actually getting ready for the last fashion show of my time here at Iowa State University. The fashion show is actually a really big deal for us here. Um, about 2,000 people come to it. Pretty much anyone in the apparel program, or honestly anyone here who's not studying apparel, who just likes to make clothes can submit. They're judged by some people in the industry and then that's how they get into the show. I've got quite a few things showing tonight. It's my last year. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. But I figured I would film me getting ready. I'll show you my little outfit tonight. This is honestly gonna keep sliding off my shoulders. I promise you I'm not naked. <laughs> yes, I straightened my hair. Okay, let's just get into this. I've actually got a new product to try too, and I'll be talking about some Glossier things I haven't gotten a chance to talk about yet. So, should be a fun video, I hope. I've brought all the gear out here, so let's hop in. I'm gonna start with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Um, I am gonna use another primer on top of this, but I have just washed off the daytime look that I had sporting there of what how what am I trying to say da, 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 that I was sporting earlier today um so I need some hydration back in my skin after getting rid of that I had a little daytime look going because we had well some of the students got invited to a luncheon with some like industry peeps and some faculty so that was fun with that I'm going to use one heck of a blot primer this is from soap and glory I really dig this stuff I know in, I think probably my last Get Ready With Me, I talked about the this and probably the powder version too. And I had some gripes with the powder one, but I actually kind of really dig it now. It's almost gone. I'm actually going to be using a new powder today though. So, you know, just to, just to mix it up a bit. I really actually don't have a lot to talk about in this Get Ready With Me. Um, I graduate in like three weeks, which is pretty crazy. I think I've already talked about what my plans are for after graduation, but in case you missed it, I'll be moving to Minneapolis. So if you see me, say hello, if that's your city. Should I do like the Jackie Ina and powder my face before I do other stuff? Let's do it, why the heck? Why the heck not? I'm not gonna use my new powder for that yet though. I'm gonna use this Kat Von D little sample thing that I'm still trying to work through. This is the Locket translucent powder. I'm just gonna take that on a little beauty blender. Figure I wanna be nice and matte tonight. So we will prime correctly. Wow, that's a good look. I'm not gonna wear foundation. I am gonna use the Glossier Skin Tint. Just the last time I wore foundation, it broke me out really bad, so now I'm super nervous about it. But yeah, I don't even wear the skin tint every day, so for me, this is gonna be like an all out kind of look, but for a lot of you, this could be boring, but oh well, I'm gonna show you it anyway. With that on, we're gonna get into the skin tint. I was just talking about the perfecting skin tint. I'm in the color deep. There's another shade below me, but this stuff, honestly, I know some people have had gripes because there's not a huge, you probably heard that shaking so much because that was right next to the mic. Some people have had some gripes because they think the Glossier shade range isn't great. Their stuff is so sheer, guys. It doesn't matter. This doesn't need to be like a, you know, a Fenty situation. There's a time and a place for Fenty because my God, I do love Fenty too. So I'm just gonna stripe this on and this isn't really gonna give me so much coverage as it is evenness. I got some teensy tiner acne scars here and there. Um, I kind of get red around my nose. Oh my gosh, come on. Just with the beauty blender again. For a while I wasn't using this beauty blender. I think I bought it last fall and I used it a ton then and I was like, because eh. I'm really, I am the type of person who likes to use my hands for everything. Also, sorry if you hear any rain at all. It's kind of a windy, rainy day. But anyway, I'm the kind of person who likes to use my hands. So I kind of gave up on it for a sec. But now I dig it again. I really like it. It just makes everything super quick. I'm gonna use it quite a lot today, actually, in this video. Yes, what else can I talk about? Maybe I can talk about what's in the fashion show tonight. Um, I'll have my senior collection, which you guys should follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting pictures of my fashion projects and things. My senior line will be in there, which is a five look little mini collection, I guess, inspired by female Scandinavian furniture designers. So I was super proud of that. I made that last fall. I've also got Homesick, which is this 
hand quilted jacket I did with a little broad panty set underneath and a sheer dress. It's really cute. I got a guy and a girl look that I made last summer. You guys might have remembered seeing that on my Instagram. And I have my digitally printed lingerie mini collection called For Ren. For, um, it was dedicated to one of my favorite photographers, Ren Hang, who passed away last year. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of everything I got into the show. Everything I submitted got in pretty crazy. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing everything come out tonight. I'm going to use the Kat Von D. I'm surprised I'm using so much Kat Von D too. That usually doesn't happen. Block it concealer now. I've got just some little different colored spots. That wind is scary. Around the news. And I'm going to dot like two little dots under the eyes. I'm gonna go back in with another concealer on top of that. I keep wanting to put my hair back, but then it's just like shoulders, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, <coughs> it's intimidating, I feel. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, blending that out. I know I'm not talking about Glossier right now, but I should go ahead and plug. I am now a Glossier rep, you guys, which is pretty exciting for me. I love Glossier. I've talked about this on my Instagram. I became a Glossier rep last month, but I haven't had a chance to talk about it on here. Go to my rep page, which I'll leave right here, as well as in the description to shop with me and you can get 20% off your first order. You definitely don't have to shop with me if you don't want to, only if you would like to. And I really love the brand. I know some people think it's overhyped, but I love the stuff. I think it's light. I think it's effortless. I think it's fun. It's fresh. And that's kind of my makeup vibe these days. So I'm super happy to be kind of representing a brand that, I don't know, I feel like there's not really other, any other cosmetics brand I can think of at the moment that I identify with more. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked. So you should definitely go uh, check that out. And when you shop on my page, you will see the products that I've highlighted as my favorites. So go there if you feel like it. But speaking of Glossier, I'm gonna take their stretch concealer now and I kind of just wipe with the beauty blender and then I'm just gonna use this under the eyes. I really like this under the eyes because it's a more hydrating concealer. It's a little bit lighter than the Kat Von D one, so it's slightly more brightening, but it's not super high coverage. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's very fresh. Oh, oh beautiful. I'd like to take it over the eyelid too. Okay, I think I look nice and even. So I'm gonna go ahead and set using my new powder. So this is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. It's not a new product, it's just new to me because I went and bought it today. I heard it's kind of messy, so I'm gonna try and be careful. Okay. It's okay, guys. I'm wearing all black, so I just don't want to mess up this look I've got going, you know what I'm saying? I love the color of it. Oh my gosh. I like that a lot so far. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm so quiet today. I'm really excited, honestly, for the show, so I don't know why I'm so quiet. I do know that I won an award. That's the thing, okay, I'll just talk about the show some more. So basically, there's different categories that you submit your items to. And so a lot of mine were in sportswear. And by sportswear, <clears throat> if you're not in anything apparel related, that might be confusing to you. I don't mean like athletic wear. I mean, sportswear is basically like everyday clothing. It's like streetwear. It's not necessarily like streetwear, but that's kind of, it's just like a general, like everyday clothing category, if that makes sense. So a lot of my stuff went into that realm. Besides that one like lingerie collection, I had my senior collection as well. So there's different categories like best collections. This is the first year that they're trying out some new categories, but I do know that I won something. They send you an email the morning of to let you know, hey, you won something. We're just not gonna tell you what, just so people know like to stand closer to the front of the stage during the award ceremony, which um, follows immediately after the show. So I'm excited to hear what it is that I won. I was like, should I vlog today? I don't think I'm going to, cause I kind of just want to enjoy the day to be honest. So sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to do this to kind of make sure all the colors are blending together, but oh my gosh, I feel like my skin looks so good. <laughs> Who is she? Now I'm going to get into the rest of the face. I actually did the eyebrows earlier. Um, I'll explain what I did, but I don't feel like I need to redo them. 
I use the Anastasia Dip Brow with their little double-ended number 12 pencil, or not pencil, excuse me, brush. And then I used a bit of the Clear Boy Brow to go through them earlier. I am gonna use a bit of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the black one now, just so they're nice and bold for the evening. I like this stuff because it's just not crispy. This video is not sponsored by Glossier, by the way. I'm just a rep now. They're not paying me to make this video. They're not paying me to say nice things. I think I'm saying nice things about pretty much every product I'm using, so I hope you know that I'm just a nice person sometimes. I think now we can get into the eyes, which I'm excited about because I'm going to be using more Glossier. <laughs> I'm gonna be using their Lid Stars, which I'm not sure what I wanna do with them yet. I've been thinking about this for a long time, but haven't figured out anything for sure yet. So I'm using the color Cub, which is a more light rose gold kind of shade, and then Fawn, which is like a deeper taupe. And they're both really shimmery. They're both pretty sheer. I've played with them quite a few times already. I think I'm first gonna smack down Cub and then we'll figure out where I wanna go from there. I might bring you in a tad closer for this portion. Hold on a sec. All right, hey guys, now you can actually like see me do my eye makeup. And here is the skin so far, if you couldn't see it that well from far away. I'm just gonna swipe this across the lid. I wanna make sure I get plenty of it since it shears out pretty quick. And this stuff does not dry fast at all, so you have a lot of time to work with it. So do not feel like you need to rush if you use these yourself. And then I'm going to take just a kind of fluff, it's a kind of dense, kind of fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna take that through the crease to diffuse that color a bit, kind of down into there as well. And mind you, I am no makeup artist. I like never wear eyeshadow anymore. I used to all the time in high school when I was still super into, I don't know, wearing eyeshadow. I still watch beauty people like apply it, but I don't often do it myself, except for with these. I think they're really fun, easy to use. If you can see it, it just gets kind of like a light wash of color. If you're someone who really likes pigmented shadows, this probably won't be your thing. But if you like a nice, just, minimal, glossy, shimmery. I'm gonna move this point out. Ooh. Kind of eye, then I think you'll like this. Ooh, I just realized I never put lip balm on. Let me do that in a second here. Um, This is the Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep Lip Love. It's a super, super thin balm. I usually use this right before I am gonna like put anything on my lips, makeup wise. I'm gonna use the darker color now, and I think I'm gonna concentrate it on the outer, or maybe, mm, Okay, let me think about this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just concentrate it close to the lash line to start. Or I might just do it over the lid and just not blend it as high as I blended Cub. I'm gonna use a slightly more dense, actually I'm gonna use this brush. This, if you care, is the elf blending eye brush it's like it was the one that's like a dollar <laughs> this is some random no name one from the drugstore i really probably should invest in some grown-up makeup brushes but it's probably not going to happen anytime soon sometimes it's nice to even kind of like dab it when you're blending and not like swish around a ton just so you don't diffuse them too much but depending on what section I'm working on. I do like to diffuse it out too. And actually these blend honestly like a dream with your fingers as well. So I might alternate a little bit. I am gonna take a bit on the lower lash line just to connect the look and make it a teensy bit more smoky. All right, with that, I'm now just going to pop on my bottom lash mascara and let that dry into the face, and then I'll do my top lashes. I am using the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, and I bought this because reviews said it was kind of like a dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara that I love so much from Too Faced, but I have issues with that because it smudges and flakes. People said that this was better because it doesn't do that, but honestly, it, it doesn't flake, but it still smudges. It probably smudges worse than the Too Faced one, so ugh, I'm still on the hunt, you guys. Sorry if I go out of frame for this. I'm going for more of a berry look because my shoes are kind of this cool velvet 
berry situation and is that kind of old lady-ish perhaps 1990s ish to match your makeup lipstick whatever to your shoes could be but i don't care i'm gonna do it anyway but first and foremost i'm gonna put on a little bronzer this is the elf it's the only bronzer i own turks and caicos i never use this color i don't understand how they have this super dark bronzer and then whatever the heck this is i think it's supposed to be a blush i guess i could use it as a highlight but i never do i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and real lightly dab into this because it's very pigmented and then i just kind of like push it in, push it real good. The rest I'm just gonna kind of fluff up through the hairline, top of the forehead, top of the forehead too, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, please unsubscribe. Along the jawbone, just to match everything, carve things out, what have you. Next, I'm going to apply my blush. And since we're sticking with the sort of berry theme, which you'll see as the lips get on too, this is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Haze. And I'm gonna attempt to apply this with a beauty blender just because I'm trying to not get my fingers too dirty. It's gonna be like very intense, just, or not intense, but I don't need a lot of it basically is what I'm trying to say. Oh, so pretty. These things blend like a dream. And I even kind of like to like blend it in this C shape, which I know is maybe weird for blush, but I don't know, I like to do it. And then even excess up onto the nose. But anything that's a bit much around the edges, I'm gonna take the more like foundation-y side and just further work those edges in. We're gonna do something fun, in my opinion. I have a mini size of the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in Mars. This has a really nice, like, pinky red reflex. So that's what I'm gonna do as my highlight today. But I'm gonna to top it with something else too. But this is gonna be the first part of it. I'm actually gonna put it on my finger first. Can you see that? Can you see that? I feel like it doesn't show up as good on camera, but it looks really cool IRL. How's that look? Good? Cool. I'm gonna pop some on the nose right in there. I'm gonna take this little tapered brush from e.l.f. and then I'm using this shattered Jouer Skinny Dip Highlight I ordered from Derm Store and both times I ordered it, it was broken. So I got full refund and now I have two free shattered highlighters. So that's fun. But anyway, I just need a teeny tiny bit and I'm just gonna use that to top this. And I really like to buff this stuff in. Yes. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> Sickening. I'm probably gonna feel super greasy later, but worth it. <laughs> Let me finish my mascara. I do like this mascara. It's just the fact that it's still like, if I'm sweating or if my lids just get oily, it gets like up here and down here. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, cool. We are literally almost done. The last step is going to be this Milani lipstick in the shade Flirty. It's one of their matte ones. And this is like the creme de la creme of this look. It's almost kind of, a, kind of a fuchsia, I guess, but I don't know, I still like it a lot. I think it's very pretty. So with that, that's basically the makeup look. I will give you some close-ups in a second here. It's nothing too crazy, obviously, but for me, it's more than I usually do. Cool, cool. Okay, so with that, my hair is basically done. I've just done like middle part. And if you wanna see my hair straightening routine, I have a video for it on my YouTube channel. So just go check that out. I'm going to pop on a bit more lotion. This is the And Other Stories Pearl de Coco Body Souffle. It just smells really nice. So I'm just gonna put that on my arms. Focusing on those elbows, cause you know they get a little crusty. 
And I'm gonna use my body oil. This I have talked about, it's my Trombor uh, vanilla body oil, basically. But of course, the thing that makes me smell my best is that Glossier Hue perfume, so. All right, cool, that is it. I will get up and show you my outfit. And with that, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, rest of your night, wherever you're at. And I hope you enjoyed this slightly longer, probably slightly more um, involved get ready with me where I show my outfit and all of that. So let me know what you think, but that's all I have to say for now. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.